Well, I am headed to Arkansas. I uh, swam by Walmart, got all the essentials. And gonna top off this Jeep with fuel and hit the road. So let's go have some fun. Arkansas and I swung by the Haw Creek area um, and it was packed. Now I don't have a ton of campsites marked real close. Um, the ones I do have it was before Gaia started letting you color code stuff so I don't know if they're any good. I literally when I drive through this area I mark every campsite. Now I'm gonna go back through and as I'm driving, I'll color code them so I'll know where good ones are next time. But since it's so late, I'm not going to drive around and try to find a real primitive spot. That was kind of why I was heading to Hall Creek. I'm um, just looking for something quick. So from here, I'm going to head up to the Fairview Recreation Area. I stayed there in my first trip coming over here. Um, the views aren't that great but you are on top of a mountain. And if I remember right, there's cell service and stuff there, so that's a plus. But it's technically not an area anymore that they're like advertising as camping and stuff. Like they've taken the water and stuff out of the place, if I remember right. I may be wrong, I'll have to look that up. But anyways, the last few times I've stayed there, um, I was the only one and it's right off the highway. So I'll head there and see if there's a spot. If not, I'll, I'll keep going, I'll find something. Um, if anything, I'll drive down one of these dirt roads and end up at one of these random sites. But just looking for something easy for today. Um, got a late start heading out of Oklahoma. But I'm going to try to get to camp. Uh, probably won't do a lot as far as filming tonight. Probably be quick, easy, lazy, watch a movie, all that good stuff. Anyways, enough rambling. I'm going to go try to find camp and let's see what's at the Fairview Recreation Area. Hopefully nobody. Look, I'm in line with the stars. I'm in sync with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch sides. Like, even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad. Light up ties in the hearse. I've been on the vibe, kind of hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life. I'm never so packed for the stack, never lied on the back. Got a bag from the way that I write it. Queen looking Tyson. Who that I survived, doing 80 to the house. Then I hit her to the sky, changed haters on 
Good morning, everyone. Um, um, still trying to wake up. Ooh. Oh. Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna hit some back roads. Yeah. Morning, everyone. Try it. Well, I got camp packed up. Of course, there wasn't much to that. I'm gonna eat a healthy breakfast of chocolate donuts and hit the road and try to cover some miles today. I'm gonna head up from here to the Richland Creek area, um, up that road where Falling Water Waterfall is and Six Fingers and stuff, just to see if there's any water there. It's not far from here. And then from there, I'm literally just gonna make my way, make it up as I go. Um, I've got some points of interest marked that I wanna get to, but I don't have routes between them. I'm just gonna go to one and then find a road that goes to the next one and just kind of zigzag my way through. So let's see what we find today. stuck at my teeth well made it to falling waters road whatever it's called falling water road the falling water waterfall was barely flowing this creek is basically dry or I guess it's a creek that runs through here they just they haven't had any rain So I'm heading up to Richland Creek camping area just because I'm here and drive up there. And actually, you know, the colors are nice. So these roads I haven't been too bad. I'm just kind of out enjoying the day. Definitely don't think I'll be seeing much waterfalls this trip. But Oh, rattling back there. But I'm gonna keep snaking my way through here and continue to see what I find today. going wrong but like today I'm just 
not feeling traveling a lot. Um, my goal these first few days was to hit a lot of these points. And we'll see how I feel tomorrow, but honestly today, like, I feel like I just want to go find a good campsite and hang out. So, I'm going to travel around. I'm going to hit up a few things on the way. Um, but I may not do many trails. I may just work my way somewhere and be happy. So let's let's see where I end up today. Maybe it'll be a campground. Maybe it'll be a primitive spot. Literally, I'm just going to drive for a little while, check out a few things. And when I find somewhere that's like, hey, I want to stay here, I'm going to stay there. It's a good thing about not really having a plan. I just wore out from the drive up here yesterday still and work and everything. And head's kind of stopped up from some allergies, which I'll take some medicine for that. Hopefully it'll help. But just not feeling covered a lot of miles and doing a lot of stuff today. the road here to have a quick lunch hopefully I got it all out of my beard but this is a neat little campsite it's right off the main road here near Hall Creek um, I think it's called Bowman Hollow is this area there's a little road that goes through here a little trail it looks like there's usually a creek through here when there's water of course you got some rock walls behind us should have stayed here last night um, and honestly I wasn't going to do much exploring today and randomly turned off on this trail and it's kind of exciting so maybe I will do some exploring today this is a neat little spot but had a quick bite to eat let's get back on the road and see what we find I think from here there's a couple spots I have marked in the area I'll go check out. But neat little find.
little trail is definitely for a four-wheel drive vehicle. There is a little bit of a challenge here. Um, I think a stock like Jeep would make it, but it's going to be a little, little tough. I haven't had to use lockers or anything yet, but it's definitely a rocky, bouncy trail, especially with all the weight I'm carrying. I am in low range. Some of these washouts and stuff, I don't think I'd want to come through here when it was muddy. This trail to Spy Rock isn't that elevation or elevated, whatever you call it. I'm still out of breath. Out of shape. But it's like a quarter of a mile hike. Totally worth it. So, figured I'd swing up here real quick before I go find camp. Man, if I was a backpacker, this would be a sweet little campsite out here. Check this out. windy up here but what a view what a view it'll always be one of my favorite places in all those arts even if my fat rear does have to hike to it now I get to walk all the way back to the Jeep because that's what we do well, I think I may head to Redding to camp, the spot on Morgan Mountain here, Morgan Mountain, the spot on Morgan Mountain that I was going to camp at with a good view and stuff. There's other people there. And Redding is basically empty. I think there was one or two rigs there. Cause it is Sunday. So it's close. It's empty. And they have a bathroom, which is a plus because my stomach is bugging me. Cause I had McDonald's yesterday and McDonald's always does that. The chicken nuggies are so good. So, and that way I can take a shower either tonight or in the morning. I think there's still showers there. So, that's my reasoning. Um, yes, I'm in another campground, 
they're still primitive and when there's no one there it's the best time to take advantage of them I do have plans for some epic camps this week if they're empty but so far the places I was considering camping was you know gonna be down by the water or something well, there ain't no water there ain't no waterfalls it's basically dry driest I've ever been which is kind of funny because I was pretty sure the last time I was here was when everything flooded and they ran me out but anyways still a good trip still a lot of fun so it's getting late let's head to the Jeep head to camp I'm actually gonna cook something tonight I don't know what yet but I got several meals I'll choose something so in about a half a second I'll be in the Jeep well I've made it to camp for the night got a spot here off the side of the road at Redding and the first order of business is gonna be get this thing unboxed but anyways we're in a burn ban here so no campfires even though there's a lot of people burning maybe they just don't know because it did just go into effect like last week and it's not common here um, but I got a propane fire ring here it's smaller than my usual one so we'll give it a go see how it works so I don't have to haul the big one around if it's just me and the Jeep but let's get that unboxed and get camp set up getting dark so I didn't film me cooking the tacos I mean everybody knows how to cook tacos right so I'm gonna eat but they look good I enjoyed my tacos and headed to bed well at least to watch some YouTube it's always good to be in the Ozarks and be sure and check out my part two for this series where I head out on probably my most epic camp ever Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to click subscribe and keep up on the journeys with me. There's still another mile left to explore. I'll see you on the trail.